Today, we are going to make a flame detection system. It's a very useful and super interesting project. Watch closely. As soon as the flame sensor detects fire, it immediately sends an SMS that says, alert, fire detected. And just one second later, you receive a call. Wow, it's amazing. Let's first see the components we need, Arduino Uno. SIM 900A GSM module. Before we start wiring, let me explain the pinout of the SIM 900A module. We will only use four pins. You can see them clearly in the chart. Pin number one is VCC. This is for the power supply. Pin number two is GND. This is the ground connection. Pin number three is TX. Pin number four is RX. Now, this part here is the antenna. And this is the SIM card slot. To open the SIM slot, you need to pull it backward gently. Once it opens, you can insert your SIM card inside like this. And this connector here, it is used for giving power to the module. Now let's talk about the power connector of the SIM 900A. This connector has two wires, one is red and one is black. But listen carefully, do not trust the wire colors. Instead, you must check the labels on your SIM 900A module. In my case, when I connected the power connector, I checked the module carefully. I saw that on the right side, it is written VC and on the left side, it is written GND. Because of this, in my module, the red wire is for GND ground and the black wire is for VCC power supply. Yes, it looks opposite, but this is why you must always check your own module carefully. Your module might have different labeling, so always confirm before connecting. And the black wire will go to the 5V pin of Arduino. The red wire of the GSM module will go to GND of Arduino. Yes, it feels opposite, but this is because of the labeling on my GSM module. In the center of the GSM module, there is a small pin section for extra power connection. The VC pin in the center section should go to the 5V pin of Arduino. The GND pin should go to the GND pin of Arduino. It is the same connection as the main power wires we discussed earlier. Wherever you connected the first power wires, you will connect these center pins the same way. This helps the GSM module to get stable power and work properly. Now, Connect the RX pin of the GSM module to pin number 8 of the Arduino. Connect the TX pin of the GSM module to pin number 7 of the Arduino. This setup works using the software serial library, which allows the Arduino to communicate easily with the GSM module. Now our GSM module and Arduino connection is complete. Next, we will connect the flame detection sensor to the Arduino. There are many types of flame sensors available. You can use any of them. First, we will connect the DO pin, which stands for digital output, to pin number two of the Arduino. Then, connect the VCC pin to the 3.3V pin of the Arduino, and the GND pin to GND on the Arduino. Now our circuit connection is fully complete. Now using a USB cable, we will connect the Arduino to the computer and then upload the code to it.
Now let's open the code. As soon as the code is opened, you can see at the top, the software serial pins are defined. TX and RX are connected to pin 7 and 8. Below that, the flame sensor is connected to pin 2. Then, if you scroll to the bottom, you will see a place where the phone number is written in the code. Here, you need to enter your own mobile number, the one you want to receive the fire alert on. Make sure to include the country code as well. Yes, it is very important to write the country code. For example, plus 92 is the country code for Pakistan, and for India, it's plus 91. So enter your country code accordingly, followed by your mobile number. This number will be used for both the call and the SMS alert. After that, go to the Tools menu in the Arduino IDE, select your correct board, then go to Port and select the correct port. Finally, click on Upload to upload the code to your Arduino. After that, open the Serial Monitor. As you can see, when I bring a flame near the flame sensor, a message appears on the Serial Monitor saying, Fire Detected, Sending SMS and Call. This confirms that the system is working perfectly. Before we move to the demo, I have a small request. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we stay motivated to bring more exciting projects like this. And if you have any questions related to this project, feel free to ask in the comments. All right, now let's see the demo. Bring the mobile phone that you entered the number for in the code. Also, make sure the SIM card inside the GSM module has sufficient balance, otherwise the system won't work. Now watch as soon as the flame is. Detected by the flame sensor, a small red LED on the sensor turns on. Then, you receive a text message on your phone, and just one second later, you also get a call. So how did you like today's project? Let me know in the comments section. And I'll see you in the next project.